Okay. Back to it. Yeah, there's going to be... You have to open up these couple of rooms and then there's going to be a few puzzles here and there behind them that we're going to have to solve. And I believe... Or I think there's four of them. Considering, you know, spades, diamonds, hearts, and uh, clubs. But I'm probably wrong because I typically am. What I should I talk about? Oh, um... A long time ago, I was gonna say I was gonna do, um... Uh, the Longest Journey for the PC, but... I never got around to it because it stopped working on my computer. Um... However, aha! However, my new computer has a different version of, uh, of Windows 7 on it. It's got the 64-bit version. But apparently, uh, the good old games version, the GOG version of The Longest Journey actually works on this computer. Uh, so... So, I may LP that at a later date, after I complete the game that I already decided on, and after I play through the game myself so I can refresh my memory. Okay, this puzzle, I remember this one. You have to move, as you can clearly see in the mirror, there's nothing behind me, but when I look back, there's a picture. So. You have to... Uh, no, you don't push it. I'm an idiot. There's a lever up here, yeah, that you turn, or that you pull, and it turns the mirror, and you have to point it to the picture that actually exists. Only a few find the way. Some don't recognize it when they do. Some don't ever want to. Which is odd, he says that at the... I think he says that near the very beginning of the game. So, put a circle. I believe... That's it! Club! That means the... Club door is now open. It suddenly turned into a uh, Resident Evil here, apparently. Got hot key, we got hot door, got hot doors, got club doors, got spade doors, and we've got a uh, diamond door. Uh, uh, apparently, the um, the people who made Resident Evil really liked uh, Alice as well. Not the game, per se. I, this game probably c came out like years after the first game came out, so, you know, I would get the book. Obviously. Oh, this. I. Did I get my jacks? Wait. Uh. I... Yeah, that was it. You had to hit the same one. And I... I'm not entirely sure, but I think it might randomize. I'm not entirely sure, though. Or maybe that was wrong. No, that was right. Because it's closed. 
permacross. Yeah, that's right. If you get it wrong, it um swarms you with enemies. Or, or maybe I did fuck up. Okay, hold on. I need to check. Back to the hot door. Oh, Alice, go around. There we go. Oh. Hmm. Oh, that's right. I think you have to keep turning this or something. Maybe? I might be stupid, which happens frequently. <laughs> yep, that's it. Okay, so you have to keep coming back here to unlock the next door. So, to the diamond door, which is, I believe, on the left. As we come up the, uh... Thing, the orifice spewing out steam. Sounds like somebody's mother-in-law. Oh! What a foot into me! Got up! Yep. Okay, so this time it was... The Jabberwock. Yep. So yeah, you just hit the picture. So it, it, this this part ain't that isn't that difficult. And again, we're building up to the final boss, so they don't want you to lose. So apparently, American McGee wanted to be nice and you know not make us lose all our health. Except he made these. Hot guards respawn every time. All of the time. Every time. None of the time. Yeah. Suck it. You also notice that the inside down here made of bone. I'm pretty sure that's bone. It's kind of creepy. And now, for the final turn of the device. And now that I know that they, you have to use all of them, uh, I don't think it's randomized. I think it's the same thing. You just go through each one. And one more pull. One more twist of the mirror. And voila! We have the club. Or the spade. Wait. Did I say the other one was a spade? I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. <laughs> Apparently, I can't. I can't see sheep. <laughs> also, I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. I know it. I'm guessing it's supposed to be blood, but it looks kind of weird. That texture, texture, texture looks a little weird. Oh no, wait, that was to the diamond. Wait, did it? I don't know. My brain doesn't work. It hurts. Okay, so the spade door was the hatter. There we go. Ah! Done. And the door opens. The final fight. Get out of the eye staff and... Ah, damn it, the back! Leave me alone! No means no! Oh, 
don't want you to spawn in there. No, with all of my no, you fucker. There we go. To the left. Oh, excuse me. And here we go. Bravery and I are not on intimate terms. My natural curiosity is tempered with caution. Thus I've lived long. Mm. But now, ignoring my instinct to flee or fear by speak the truth without regard to consequence, your courage deserves no less. Keep you've suffered spinning. great pain, and you've caused some. You've endured deep grief and feelings of guilt, but you will be tested by a more wrenching anguish, Alice. There is worse to come. You and this Red Queen cannot both survive. You are two parts of the same... <laughs> oh, jeez. Sure. Although it's kind of ironic because he's typically able to remove his head from his body. Heart of Darkness. The Horror. The Horror. Could have picked up the weapon. Alright, Queenie. You fucked with the wrong cat. Now you gotta have to mess with me. Yeah. Am I? Off with her head. And with her famous line, she apparently grows a tentacle out of her backside. Ah! And this is it. Final boss fight. Ah! Um, I might want to put a seizure warning in this. Considering the, um, the flashing lights and whatnot. Okay, yeah, if you see that sparkle, that means move. Sparkle around your body, that means move. Out of the way, out. Hit myself. Whoa! Ah, because she'll telekinesis you like that. And she can even grab you behind a... No! Oh my god! Oh my god, no! 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 I don't want to look at your ugly face like this! Ah! Ah! Ew! Ew! Get away from me! Ew! 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 Ah-ho! You. Ho! Yes! The queen has dead! Oh no, she's not. She's temporarily stunned. Ow, 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 ow. Pain in the graven. Oh, even more pain. Fire. 
guess I got too much, too little willpower. Oh my god, now she's shooting missiles. Or something. Come on. Hey. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, I don't want to see you. No, no. Ah, uh, ah, uh, pain. Leaving. Clavin. Ow. Ah, uh, the pain. Yeah, she has. There we go. She has a very small target. You have to hit like a upper chest, and it's kind of hard to hit sometimes. And the mm, hitbox is kind of finicky. But we've done it. We've killed the queen. Woo! What the? Uh. Okay, the music stopped. Maybe. We, we have been. Whoa! What the hell? Good! Ugly. Good. I rule Wonderland. Again. Um. Your interference will not be tolerated. This realm is for grown ups. What? For well ordered, ruthless, careening on the jagged edge of reality. Self. Pitying dreamers are not wanted here. They cannot survive here. You fear the truth. You live in shadows. Your pathetic attempts to reclaim your sanity have failed. Retreat to the sterile safety of your self delusions or risk inevitable annihilation. If you destroy me, you destroy yourself. Leave now, and some hollow part of you may survive. Stay. I will break you down. You will lose yourself forever. Well, she might kill herself, but Alice would rather die than go back to the asylum and be insane. <laughs>